British expat living in the Netherlands and the channel is vlogging and uh, an occasional crafty podcast once in a while. So today is our annual shopping trip um, at the train station in Hofdorp with Alison, he can probably hear in the background, uh, Claire and Fiona. Uh, we have our face mask, new restrictions announced last night. Um, tomorrow everything's closing from five, uh, all non-essential shops, clubs, whatever, whatever. Uh, so we've just got in in the nick of time, uh, restaurants are open till 8. So we're all fully vaccinated, masked up, uh, safe as we can be. So um, let's see, we're heading to Almira. Hopefully it's a good day. There's Fiona. <laughs> morning as you can see I have some makeup on I've washed my hair but they've not done a good job of drying it um I was just so tired so we didn't I can't remember what I filmed yesterday I don't think there was much footage because so I might have started off the weekly vlog a little bit sort of garbled I think I was on the train station at Hofdorp when I started filming um and I think I might have mentioned that it's like an annual shopping trip that always finishes with a nice dinner with um myself my three fr uh, friends Ali, uh, claire and fiona and obviously because of you know the issues at the moment we couldn't do it last year um but we worked out i think we're on our eighth year and every year we say we're going to go away for a weekend yeah like a spa shopping kind of weekend but you know life gets in the way blah 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 anyway um we had such a great day so almira is not it's not a pretty town it's a it's quite a new um i think it might even be reclaimed land it's quite new you know it's not you know there's nothing sort of historical quaint or anything to see in the center uh but um there's a couple of shops there that we like so we were we were mainly shopping for like stocking fillers so there's quite by dutch standards there's a quite a big Primark there and a TK Maxx which in America is TJ Maxx um so uh yeah we just I mean I didn't buy a lot I bought a few things but there were stocking fillers nothing you know nothing I can share with you nothing major but it was just nice to get out anyway the night before so on Friday I think I talked about this in the last week's weekly vlog we had new uh restrictions announced Jack no no somebody's walking past the door with the dog not the door the, the, the front window relax <laughs> um so the new the current restrictions for three weeks now are starting from today so today's sunday probably would have put it on the screen already um everything aside from non-essential uh sorry aside from essential shops uh, everything's closing at five uh, and essential shops such as supermarkets you know food uh, places closing at eight which we've already been closing at eight for 
don't know, a couple of weeks now. Um, I think the masks were an advice and I think now they're mandatory. The 1.5 social distancing rule is also mandatory with a fine of uh, 95 euro if you're found to be breaking it. Uh, no training, no sports training after 5 p.m. That's all stopped. A lot of clubs are actually just stopping, although we're about to stop for winter break anyway. Williams um, just played a football match. Josh was out at a football match. Lawrence is currently out at hockey, but I think it's the last for the season anyway. Um, yeah, what else? Um, so, so far the government have said that the schools must stay open for children's mental health kind of thing. Although uh, masks in corridors are now mandatory. And I don't know if William School was talking about smaller classes. And the advice is now um, uh, stay at work from home unless it's um, essential that you go to work. So I, I think there'll be... Um, I think there'll be a statement from my company in the morning. Although I'm working on a project which has already been sort of, you know, distant. We've been get allocated a place in the building, so I don't know. They might allow us, like, special... Um, the, the company, they might allow us sort of special dispensation to for the project team to go in. I don't know. I'll wait and see. I'll update you on that. But, yeah, that's where we're up to. So, anyway... um. We finished off the night with our nice dinner and we went, we've been to Almira shopping before, but Claire and I couldn't remember, but Alison and Fiona did. And when we got there, Claire and I were like, oh yeah, that looks familiar, but we still don't actually remember much of the day. Anyway, we finished off in this Mexican, I think there was some footage of that. Um, I think we got there about five, because we were quite tired, we walked miles. And... Um, we hadn't made a reservation because on the internet, on the website, you couldn't make a reservation. So we just assumed, you know, it was a walk-in. And anyway, they did have a table for us. And, uh, oh, it's such a good dinner. The food was incredible. And um, great atmosphere. And uh, amazing cocktails. And um, we literally, we literally just finished our dinner at, like, two minutes to eight and we you know we would finish off with a nice coffee and um they were like right you know everybody make your way out pay and off you go so we left and we literally stepped out and it was like a ghost town it was the place was just deserted it was so eerie and then we got the train to uh Schiphol, which is the uh amsterdam airport uh fiona's husband kevin was picking us up from there and Schiphol was just deserted and yesterday i don't know if you'd heard it on the news there was uh, two flights uh, came in from South Africa and the Dutch wouldn't let them, um, I think they were KLM flights, the Dutch wouldn't let, let the passengers disembark. And then I think they eventually did. They let them go into a holding place and then t and tested them all. And I think between the two flights, there was over 60 passengers tested positive because they're worried about this new variant now, which has been found here. So oh, I don't know. It was really, it was like the twilight zone. We, we just were having a nice time. And then it was like, click, eight o'clock. And it was like, okay, what just happened to the world? Um. Anyway, you know, let's just see. I'll keep you updated. I just, I don't want to put too much like, oh, doom and gloom on it. Because I don't know, we've sort of, we've been here before now. It's like, all right, let's just crack on with it. Um. So when you're watching this, I think I should explain it. Maybe I will do on Wednesday when I do the first video. Um, so I'm doing Vlogmas C. <laughs> so it's going to be my version of Vlogmas. So it won't be daily um, vlogging. I can't. I just can't physically manage it. Um, but I think uh, for now, so you would have seen this as a regular weekly vlog. So I'm not sure of the format yet. I don't know whether to just aim for keeping the regular weekly vlog, which is obviously longer. And I know many of you who craft sit down, you know, with a with a you know nice drink and a crafty project and listen to me so um i'm not decided on that yet but anyway let's see uh how that goes so i got dressed i was gonna go out and i just i sat down and i thought i can't be bothered i just cannot be bothered i'm feeling very relaxed very comfortable so i've just decided now i'm gonna stay um i'm just gonna stay put on the sofa i've got laundry on the go and um I don't know, when William comes down, we might put a Christmas movie on or something. And I'm just going to do some crochet or knitting or sewing or something. I just feel the need to just sort of 
have a bit of quiet time. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but of course, if anything happens, I'll take you with me. This weird thing going on with my fringe. I'm at the hairdressers on Friday. I forgot to show you what I bought in um, uh, yesterday when I went out, went to the action. Uh, so I bought a couple of these folders with plastic pockets in them for my knitting and crochet patterns. Bought two of them. Uh, I bought some <laughs> Christmas chockies. Uh, tin of Quality Street. Mm, yum, yum, yum. A uh, box of celebrations. And of course, the customary after eights. Not gone too mad because Lawrence and I want to go to the um, expat shop uh, soon and buy things like crackers and mince pies and Christmas pudding and stuff. I uh, also bought a new extension socket. I think that's what I said I went to get. I don't know if I said it in the weekly vlog or whatever. Uh, I had one of these years ago. It's a... Uh, it's a makeup remover. I think it's just microfiber, like a face flannel, really. Uh, but yeah, I think it wasn't even a euro. So I grabbed myself one of them. And they had these face masks. I don't know if they'll burn my face off, but I thought I'd try them. Uh, because some of these um, active ingredients are actually in the ordinary products, which I use. So there's, um, there's this one with retinol, uh, niacinamide and uh a collagen and they're those you know those sheet masks i thought oh i'll give them a go i've actually got a really nice one somebody bought me a pumpkin flavored or smelling one for my birthday and it had uh eye patches as well uh nothing else interesting brazil nuts and so i went for the extension socket and double a batteries i've got 24 i think here yes and uh i'm forever buying the kids deodorant in the uk axe is lynx so that's what i bought uh right i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna make a coffee because the kettle's just boiled and um i've got a short break and then i'm back uh, to work uh, it's project day today so it's very busy uh i will catch you later i'm back in my very messy craft room um so this is the weekly vlog but it will be a bit higgledy piggledy um so i hope you've managed to keep track of everything i really wanted to insert the footage of when i went on my christmas shopping day with the girls so that's why um it wasn't in a vlogmas and i've combined a sort of vlogmas slash weekly vlog uh, i don't know if next week i don't think it will be a weekly vlog next week because it is a lot to try and keep track of the days um so i think i'm just going to stick to vlogmasy next week um there was quite a lot of footage from the garden centre so I'll stick that in one vlogmas and then if you want to look at Christmas things and feel all festive with some nice cheerful festive music over the top that will be one day and um yeah let's see tomorrow uh tomorrow I want to put the Christmas decks up so that hopefully would have been something you saw in vlogmas if there's too much footage then I might mash it all together for a sort of weekly vlog William's calling me now um but yeah let's just see it's all about having fun and just you know giving you guys something hopefully entertaining to watch anyway at this point I think I'm going to wrap up the weekly vlog slash vlogmasy and um I hope you've been enjoying everything so far I hope you're getting into the festive spirit wherever you are and um yeah let me know uh, if you're new to the channel where you found uh, my little old dawn days uh, HQ channel from and um yeah just say hi and uh have a safe week and i hope you've all had a nice nice week behind you not too stressful remember uh christmas should be a time for um uh, you know peace and calm and quiet and uh, not to stress ourselves out okay see you in the next vlog or vlogmasy take care bye <laughs>